So this video is about trigonometric ratios. Let's say if we have a right triangle, triangle ABC. Now let's say that AB is 8 units long, BC is 15, and AC is 17 units long. What is the value of sine of A? That is sine of angle A. Now you need to be familiar with something called Sokotoa. So this part, so, tells us that sine of some angle, let's say theta, is equal to O, the opposite side, divided by H, the hypotenuse. So opposite to A is 15, and the hypotenuse is always across the box, which is 17. So therefore, sine of A is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is 15 divided by 17. Now, what do you think the value of cosine a is going to be? Now, cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, based on ka in Sokotoa. So adjacent to a is 8, and hypotenuse is 17. So it's going to be 8 divided by 17. Now, what about tangent of a? Now, tangent theta based on Sokotoa, it's going to be the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So opposite to A, we said it's 15. Adjacent to A is 8. So it's 15 divided by 8. Now, based on what we've just done, I want you to calculate sine of C, cosine of C, and tangent of C. So feel free to pause the video. Starting with sine, sine is going to equal the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So opposite to angle C is 8 and hypotenuse is 17. So sine C is 8 over 17. Cosine is going to be adjacent which is 15 divided by the hypotenuse, 17. So it's 15 over 17. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite to C is 8, adjacent to C is 15. So it's 8 over 15. You can try this problem if you want for the sake of practice. So let's call this A, B, and C. So let's say this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. So calculate the value of sine A tangent C and cosine of A as well. So relative to A, opposite to A is 4 and the hypotenuse will be 5. So sine of A is going to be 4 divided by 5. Now relative to C, we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite to C is 3 adjacent to it is 4. So tangent of C is going to be 3 over 4. Now cosine. Adjacent to A is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So cosine A is going to be 3 over 5. And so that's it. That's how you can use right triangle trigonometry to evaluate the three trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, tangent. Now let's say if you wish to evaluate sine of 30 degrees, how would you do it? And also evaluate these two, cosine 30 and tangent 30. Now you need to be familiar with some special right triangles, particularly the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across the 30 is 1, across the 60 is the square root of 3, and across the 90 is 2. So if you wish to calculate sine 30, it's going to be opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And so sine 30 is 1 over 2. Cosine 30 is going to be adjacent to 30, which is square root 3, divided by the hypotenuse. So that's going to be square root 3 divided by 2. And tangent 30 is opposite 
opposite to 30 is 1 divided by the adjacent side, which is the square root of 3. So tan 30 is 1 over square root 3. Now, we can rationalize this fraction if we multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. So tan 30 is the square root of 3 divided by 3. Now, what about sine 60, cosine 60, and tangent 60? So now, we're focused on this angle. Sine 60, that's going to be opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine 60 is the square root of 3 divided by 2. Cosine 60, that's going to be adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So cosine 60 is 1 half. Tangent 60 is opposite over adjacent. So that's the square root of 3 divided by 1, which is simply the square root of 3. Now, what are the values of sine 45 degrees, cosine 45, and tangent 45? Now, you need to be familiar with the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Across the 45s, it's 1. Across the 90 is the square root of 2. So let's focus on this one. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 45 is 1 over square root 2. And if we rationalize it, it's going to be the square root of 2 divided by 2. Now cosine 45 is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So it's the same as sine 45. So that's the square root of 2 over 2 as well. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. 1 over 1 is 1. So tan 45 is 1. Now I'm going to put this together all in a table. Let's say this is theta, this is sine theta, and then cosine theta, and tangent theta. So this is going to be 0 degrees, and then 30. 45, 60, and 90. Now, sine of 0 is 0. Sine 30 is 1 half. Sine 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. And sine 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. Sine 90 is 1. Notice how it increases from 0 to 1. Cosine 0 is 1. Cosine 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60, root 2 over 2. And then, I mean, cosine 60 is 1 half. Cosine 45 is the square root two of 2 over 2. Cosine 90 is 0. So notice as the angle increases from 0 to 90, Cosine is decreasing from 1 to 0, but sine is increasing from 0 to 1. Tangent of 0 is 0. Tan 30 is the square root of 3 over 3. And tangent 45 is 1. Tan 60 is the square root of 3. Tan 90 is undefined. Tan 89.9 .9 is a large number. Let me make sure my calculator is in degree mode. Tan 89.9 .9 is like 573, if you round it to this whole number. Tan 89.99 .9 is like 5,730. And so as you get closer to 90, it goes to infinity. So if you type in tan 90, your calculator will give you an error. Now you need to be able to solve for a missing side in a right triangle. And so let's work on some examples that illustrates that. Let's say this is 12, and this side is x, and this angle is 40 degrees. What is the value of x in this particular triangle? Now, you need to know which trigonometric ratio you need to use. Is it going to be tangent, sine, or cosine? x is opposite to the 40-degree angle. 
and 12 represents the hypotenuse. So which one is associated with opposite and hypotenuse, sine, cosine, or tangent? According to Sokotoa, we know that it has to be sine. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So we can say that sine of 40 degrees is equal to x, the opposite side, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 12. So let's cross multiply. 1 times x is x, and that's equal to 12 times sine of 40 degrees. Now make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Sine 40 is 0.64279. So if you multiply that by 12, we can see that x is approximately 7.7. .7. And so that's the value of x. Let's try another example. So let's say this is 18, the hypotenuse is y, and this angle is 50 degrees. Feel free to pause the video and calculate the value of y. So relative to 50, we know this side is the opposite side. Across the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse, and this must be the adjacent side. So th we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Should we use sine, cosine, or tangent? Based on Sokotoa, we know that cosine is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So we could say that cosine of 50 degrees is equal to 18 divided by y. Now let's put this over 1 and let's cross multiply. So 1 times 18 is 18, and that's equal to y times cosine of 50 degrees. So to isolate y, we need to divide both sides by cosine of 50. So on the right side, these will cancel. So y is 18 divided by cosine 50, and that's equal to 28. Now sometimes, you need to calculate the value of the missing angle. So let's say this side is 200 and this side is 300. What is the value of x in this picture? 300 is opposite to x. 200 is adjacent to x. And we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we could say that tangent x is equal to the opposite side, which is 300, divided by the adjacent side, which is 200. So what do we need to do with our calculators in order to calculate the value of x? If tangent x is equal to 300 over 200, you need to know that the angle x is the arc tangent or the inverse tangent of 300 and 200. You simply need to switch them. So if tangent of an angle is equal to a value, then the arc tangent of that value is equal to that angle, particularly if we're focused on a reference angle between 0 and 90. But make sure you understand that concept. So let's type in arc tan or inverse tan 300 over 200. And so you should get this answer. x is equal to 56.3 degrees. And so that's how you can calculate the angle using a trigonometric ratio. Here's a problem for you. So let's say if we have triangle ABC. And you're given the following information. You're told that cosine A is 5 over 13. And also, segment AC is equal to 52. With this information, what is the value of sine of angle A? So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem. So AC is 52. And cosine A is 5 over 13. We could also say that cosine A is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So relative to A, AB is the adjacent side. 
BC is the opposite side. The hypotenuse is AC. So cosine is adjacent, which is AB, divided by the hypotenuse, which is AC. So cosine is AB over AC. Now cosine A, we know it's 5 over 13. So let's replace cosine A with that. AC, we know it's 52. So now we just got to calculate AB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 52. And so on the right, these will cancel. So on the left, it's just 52 times 5 divided by 13. So AC is, I mean, not AC, but AB is 20. Now, in order to calculate sine, we need the opposite side. So we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to get the opposite side. So we know c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. c is the hypotenuse, which is segment ac. a could be segment ab. And b has to be the other segment, bc. So we know ac is 52. ab is 20. So let's say bc is x. 52 squared is 2704. 20 times 20 is 400. And so 2704 minus 400 is 2304. And that's equal to x squared. So now let's take the square root of both sides. So the missing side, BC, that's 48 units long. So now we can calculate sine A. It's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 48 over 52, which we can reduce this. 48 is 4 times 12, and 52 is 4 times 13. So sine A in this example is 12 over 13.